starting to see Juiced come up with some solid geometry yeah. now based on the layout. Watch, start putting, watch that draft it. face there. Look at that. Yeah, just, he's just like that. That the uh, manipulator there is yeah. uh, doing. Hey, what's a, up, a everybody? Of... Today we're gonna take a look at the second battle from the October twenty first matchup of Juiced running Ansys Space Clean against Victor K running SolidWorks. And this was one of the closest matches we've had in the entire tournament. You'll see at the end that the answers just come in within seconds of one another. And it's uh, definitely one of my favorite matches from the tournament so far. If you wanna watch the entire live stream, I'll include a link down in the description below. And I hope that you'll come back and join us on November 11th, where we're gonna be live streaming the semifinals, the finals, and the crowning of a new world champion of 3D CAD speed mod. Our next CAD battle, uh, Victor K is up by one point, uh, but Juice could easily come back, win two in a row, and be done. And this next CAD battle is gonna begin. Okay, this next CAD battle is gonna be between the Netherlands and the United States, Ansys Space Claim versus SolidWorks. Here we go. This next CAD battle begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in X, 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 X grams? Okay. Precision. Okay. Precision. <laughs> yes. Tolerance is plus or minus one gram. And we see this part is called the clamp lever. There is some magenta text on this print. So just make sure you guys take a look at that magenta text. We got a detail view so that there's uh it's very clear what's going on with this print whenever there's magenta text that usually means there's a a little bit of trickery going on with the model and it looks like both of our runners have come up with a game plan have jumped into the cad and uh victor just in that short you know they didn't even need my warning they just jumped right in so in that short few moments we, it looks like uh, victor k has decided to start out with that kind of brick big shape. block of steel yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the middle of the model and uh <laughs> And on the left, Juiced is uh, is taking more of like a looks like a layout approach, almost looking at this thing from the top, looking down. X Machina Engineering says this is really hard, man. Models today are hard. Yes, we are in the Elite Eight, and so uh, we're starting to see some more difficult models. Uh, you gotta you gotta earn your way into that final four. Uh, so yeah, this model has got some some really interesting features on it. I'm very excited to see how these runners try to tackle it. It looks like. Uh, Victor K is getting to one of those kind of tricky areas and deciding how to deal with that tricky area. I don't want to give too much away, but I can see uh, that he's he's addressing that tricky area. And uh, we see that Juiced on the left is also kind of tackling that tricky area in his own way. And so uh, we're going to see how this strategy pays off. I know that I've seen Juiced many times use this kind of top-down layout sketch approach. And then I look at the other runner and then I look back and it's like Juiced's model is done. So <laughs> this could uh, this could easily go either way. Victor K though, just very similar to the last model, just steady, 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 and just kind of in the zone. Yeah, yeah, they're both doing their thing in their own way, and I think you know we're doing a, a lot of fun things very quickly just based on picking and moving around. So very different approach. If you know we've seen the traditional parametric modelers out there, you know this is a totally different way uh, of going you know, in uh, building uh, 3D models. Yes, completely agree, completely agree. And so we see uh, on the other side, Victor modeled that as a brick and then added the draft in the two directions, uh, or sorry, modeled it as a, a draft from the front and then added the, the draft on the two sides. So very clever approach there. Um, I think most people probably would have approached that feature a different way, probably from the top down. Uh, but Victor, knowing all the tools that he knows, had no problem pivoting there and just modeling that from the side. And uh, Juiced, we see using some manipulation here to clean up that rib. Looks like the rib didn't quite go all the way in. Looks like maybe it's fighting him a little bit. I, I don't know uh, the language there, so I can't read that fout, but uh, I'm willing to bet that, that means an error. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have to pick up on my Dutch a little bit more yeah. here. I think this is Dutch. And these are, you know, this is one of these spots where you can see that the model is designed to kind of thwart the Ivan exploit in the sense that that 18 millimeter diameter hole on Victor's screen is, uh, you know, it needs to be located in a very specific spot or else it's, you know, you're not going to get the correct answer because of that taper that's on the bottom of that surface. So you'll see that sometimes in these models that, you know, you can't just, you, you, just because you have through holes doesn't mean you can just locate them anywhere. Uh, you, you need to kind of take some time and actually lock them down. Yeah. 
yeah the yeah i like the uh the approach here victor's taking here with kind of laying out all the, the holes there in one plane and he just he yeah i think inspired by juiced he just took that and extruded it up without having to use the actual extrude command he had the live what they call that back in the day live uh three 3d or something like oh, that instant 3d 3d like yeah. yeah so he just took that and pulled it up just to to, to uh i think pay homage to how you do things <laughs> space clamp as well. Yeah, yeah. It's very cool <laughs> how we can be inspired by the other CAD systems, you know. And then if we look on the left, we, we talked about Victor for just a moment. We look on the left and Juiced is already coming through. Looks like he's going to be dropping an answer in here. And so this is, we are on number, what number is this again? 67? 67, Six, yes. Seven. So Juice is coming in with the answer. One, two, four, two, dot, uh, four. Uh, that is not correct, Juice. That is not correct. One, two, four, two. Uh, it's not correct. Uh, the, the tolerance on this model, I think, is plus or minus one gram. Uh, that is not correct. One, two, four, uh, two. It's really close to one, two, four, three. Either way, if it's not one, two, four, two, or one, two, four, three, even accounting for tolerance. So you get a double answer there. Congratulations. A little bonus. Uh, but neither of those was correct. Uh, so Vic... Victor coming in with an answer here now. One, two, three, five grams. And guys, we now have the first two members of our final four. That is correct. And wow. congratulations to Victor K. One, two, three, five. And look at Juice right behind him. He made the adjustment. He came in there with one, two, three, five right behind oh, him. Wow, damn, wow, wow. So what close. a heartbreaker. So oh, no, finish so heartbreaker close. exactly. Oh. Man, that is an epic match between these oh. runners. Congratulations <laughs> to both of these runners. Unbelievable. Wow, that was close. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Congratulations. Wow, I've never seen one. I, I, that was close. I mean, and heartbreaking, heart wrenching.